Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> Today I'm just going to do a quick install of Dolphin 7. Um, just to give you an overview, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, Bunex did a good job with their installer. Uh, but the first step to upgrading your Dolphin is to install a fresh uh, Dolphin. So, here we are at the Bunex blog. <coughs> Gives you the link to the Dolphin 7 uh, Beta 8 version. So we're just going to go ahead and download it. Okay. Now, let's open up your cPanel, which I am going to use a client server that I'm working on. first thing you're going to need to do is create a database for it. So go into your MySQL databases from your cPanel. Let's call this one the tester. I'm going to create the database. Now, not only do you need a database, you need a new user. So we're going to give this one access to that database. It's really easy. You choose the user here and you choose the database you want to give them access to. Now my version of cPanel gives you an option of which uh, privileges to give them so I'll give them that. Okay. Now whatever FTP program you use um, uh, I should give you the option of dragging and dropping but because I know there's a bunch of people who don't use that. Let's go into uh, the file manager. I think most of you all have a file manager that looks like this. Uh, the newer versions of cPanel have a better looking file manager, but just in case uh, you're using this version, now the first thing you're going to have to do is create a directory, okay? create a new folder, and I'm personally going to call this one the community, okay? and create the directory. Now come over here, and click on the folder, and you're going to want to upload a file. Let's go to Mac user downloads, Dolphin 7 version 8, okay? and then upload. Now that's going to take a while, so I will pause this and come back when the download is done. Okay. All right, we're back. You'll notice how the dolphin has uploaded here. Might have been only a couple of seconds for you, but it uh, took quite a while to upload, actually. It is uh, 15 meg. At any rate, we're going to click on the title itself, and we're going to tell over here, we're going to tell the cPanel to extract it. And it'll go through and tell you all the files it's inflating. Now, we're going to close that again, and let's click on uh, Community to refresh it. Now, the next step in Dolphin is to do a lot of permission changing. Yikes, that's the uh, difficult part of it. What I'm going to do is going to go to this client site, upper.me, and I'm going to go to the folder that we just put the Dolphin in, and hit Enter. It's going to come up with the installer and give you the list of files you need. Uh, here, let's move this up so you can see. You just click on the install button. And it'll give you all the files you need to change. Now I'll do a couple of them in cPanel. Although why anybody would want to do uh, change their permissions inside cPanel. File manager, I don't know, it's, it's a very time consuming process to do it this way, but let's take the cache, change the permissions change it to 7. My server uses 777. Some of them are probably 757. Uh, but there you go. And you'll have to do this for all of the files that uh, are for folders and files that it tells you to make writable here. Now I use uh, Cyberduck for my own. So let's refresh the community here. And uh, using Cyberduck you can actually click on uh, You can 
click on several of them. And uh, my mouse scroller isn't working very well. And then you can right click on them and choose info you know, on a Mac anyway and do them all at once. Okay, so I'm going to go finish those and uh, we'll continue in a second. Okay, we're back. Now you'll notice uh, after you click check again, after you've changed all the permissions, all of them go to a green level. Uh, so I can get an error up the corner there, so I'm just going to use that little pop up. So you click next and they all go, uh, they begin. You know, most of the time this will all be default, you won't have to change anything. We're going to put that database that we created over here. C panel. And as I call them the same, I'm just going to copy and paste. And I put the password as tester. And just give you a name. Uh, this guy is called uh, Webber Marketing. in there so they try not to and that one if you're using a development group or someone uh, they should have the bug report sent to them and, and uh, change that to dolphin. Okay now adding a cron job. I don't need the stars. We will go into the C panel and add a cron job here. So are usually down under this advanced area down here. Click on the cron jobs you want to do it in uh, standard. That's already got one in there, but we'll add the cron job in here. And you'll notice from here it uses these stars here. Now that means every minute, every hour, every day, every month, every weekday. Okay. And save the cron Next, it's going to ask you to change the uh, permissions again. And take this one off if it's not right at all. Click apply. Okay, I'll check it again. Perfect. Okay. Next, it's already installed now. I personally don't, uh, don't actually delete the directory. Just rename it so it doesn't know it's there. Okay, and then click on here, and your dolphin is installed, and you're automatically logged in. Now, we'll stop there, but I'll come back uh, later on today, and I'll do a little uh, uh, brief introduction to installing the modules. Because right now, all you have is a core Dolphin 7. Now, Dolphin 7 uh, has a lot of the features that Dolphin 6. It has a lot more actually, but uh, it doesn't put them in by default. You have to install them as modules. So we'll come back uh, in a couple minutes and we'll install uh, the basic modules to get your site back up to at least the feature set that you had with the Dolphin uh, before you, uh, or the Dolphin 6 before you did your customized uh, modifications. Well, thanks for uh, putting up with me. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.